Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hurricraft Season 5 with me, Full Symmetry. And today, it was meant to be a spooky intro because I'm standing on some blood and guts of these little mushrooms here. But alas, it's daytime and I really can't be bothered to wait another five minutes for the sun to set. So here we are. Anyway, today I'm starting off today's episode with a task that I've been meaning to ask Cub Fan to do for a while. And you know what? I think I'm just going to do it myself. I found the tutorial that Azuma made, which I'll try and remember to link in the description, which I'll probably forget, as you guys know. But uh, basically, I want to make this our first secret entrance to the black market. The black market is down in there. I've sort of blocked it off for now, so I've got a bit of a platform to work on. And yeah, we want to get this sort of looking like a secret entrance. Now, if you guys have seen Cup Fans Nether Tunnel before, you'll understand what I mean by a secret entrance here. We're going to be using these as falling entity blocks uh, the uh, red concrete powder and basically it should hopefully at least from out here it'll look like a wall of blood which is what it's meant to look like it's meant to feel like a you know a pipe sort of a pipe almost connected to Azuma's base because he's got one very very similar um, for his iron golems and I like the idea and I was like you know what I'm gonna step it up make it a secret entrance for the for the black market and um, yeah so I need to do a little bit of work, plop a shulker box down somewhere, plop a little fence post or something down there, plop some sand and pistons and stuff in probably above the ceiling somewhere. And basically, hopefully when I cut to the next clip, we will have a perfectly working secret entrance to our bike market. Let's hope so, because this is going to take a bit of time. Right, I've got the hang of it now. I did actually build this in the wrong place for some reason. I, I built it like one over that way and I was like wondering why it wasn't working. I was like, oh, I like miscounted. <laughs> I was like, I, I, was, I, I was like so sure it was lined up and it wasn't, so fail. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, I think we can do this one more time. Uh, did that one even work? Yeah, that one worked. And then put one there. Boom. Get rid of that. Put one there. Do the same again. And then one there. Boom! Now, this should work and be completely just like ready. I'm gonna remove everything. I'm that confident. <laughs> I'm that confident, guys. So I think what I'm gonna do is rebuild around it and then show you guys the final product, which hopefully isn't broken in some way because I built it and, you know, when I build things, they probably don't work. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Ah, so there is one thing I did forget to do, and that was do the shulker box trick all the way up. I only did it at the bottom for some reason. Um, but that's good, because now I can see what that, that is like compared to that. Because you can either have it like that, where it's completely flush, but you'll have the glitchiness. Or you can have it so it pokes out a little bit. There will be a bit of difference there, although hopefully we'll make it super dark inside. There won't be enough light coming through that it'll be too different in colour. Um, but it won't flash. So I think we're going to have to redo this one more time. We'll have this hopefully all the way up and um, yeah, that should definitely look a lot better because I think from back here, once that's all the same colour, yeah, that'll look super cool. Well, I know it's dark right now, but that's how you're best going to see it. I've had to get rid of the light that was there just because it just was making it look like super obvious. Uh, it's still pretty obvious, especially since we've got that extra dark area up there. But it does work. Look, I'm going to run through it. Whee! And I sort of hit the block a little bit. But that's fine. It, it works. It, it does its job. It is as best as I'm going to be able to do it in Minecraft where you don't have invisible blocks. So, um, like, like there's no there's no, there's no, no actual walkthrough block in Minecraft, sadly. Um, or, like, doors that are, like, secretive or something. I mean, I could have done pistons with a, I don't know, something falling sand door maybe instead. But... I don't know, I wanted to try something new and fresh and something simple that I could do in not too long, although it took a little bit longer because I made a couple of mistakes. But that's fine, I now know how to do this door, so, you know, if any hermits need the door done, I can I can make a door now, apparently. I'm, I'm like a redstone expert or something, guys. Y yeah, maybe not quite. But anyway, speaking of doors, we are actually going to head over to the community area right now because I want a door for this. I also, quite possibly need and want a door for oh i may have fallen in the water a little bit one moment one moment guys one one moment one one moment i'm failing i'm i'm failing today it's, it's another one of those weeks dude last week was a crummy week for me 
not a great week. And um, let's just say this week hasn't started off so great either. I'm just failing at things. But yeah, I also want some sort of door here, I think, too. This one's a bit more difficult. I don't know why that's so low, but uh, I guess I can change. But yes, basically I want this, the, the black market to finally have three secret doors, entrances, whatever you want to call them. And um, we also need to later on start making some more of these shops because... I never actually finished them, I completely forgot about these, so hopefully in today's episode we can get these started, and um, I've even put signs on them like body parts, or beauty shop, or run dog fell from a high place. Hmm, fair enough. That's the second death he's done while I've been online. He also died to a magma cube, so who knows what Ren's doing. I, I have no idea. Well, I have no idea what this thing looks like. But I'm gonna guess that this is it here. I saw the word door store. <laughs> so this is it right here. What is this? Who is this? Red dog. Red. Red dog. Right. Red. You're not building your shop, dude. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, anyway, <laughs> right. Let's concentrate on what we're actually doing here. This looks pretty cool. I kind of like the colors going on here. I don't know what they're meant to represent, or if it's just meant to be sort of redstone behind. I think it's just meant to be redstone behind it, it's kind of cool. But yeah, I want to see how this opens. Oh, that is satisfying. Dude, okay. That's, uh, as long as the, no creepers, okay. No creepers. I don't, that's better. Okay, good, we're safe. Right, cool. So it says, welcome to the door store. We sell piston doors. If you need a piston door, then take one of the books from the chest and write out a request then put it back in the top half of the chest. Cool. So I'll take one of these. I actually brought my own as well, just in case it was empty, and I'll put it in there. I'll then let Mumbo know that it's there, and um, basically uh, I'll get him to like DM me so that I can actually give him the exact locations for the doors, because it's not something that's super easy to uh, to tell him. So um, yeah, we're going to get a door commissioned by Mumbo, hopefully, if he's up for it. And um, yeah, we'll finally have the black market finished. Sweet. Also, guys... Yeah, it, it's March. I should probably, uh, should probably remove the, uh, the 2018 sign at some point soon. Although, those fireworks, honestly, are pretty satisfying. Right, as Rendog is, um, reminiscing about his stuff that went wrong the other day, I have been gathering materials. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. Basically, he blew up his items with TNT. Not, not, not really surprising, is it? I don't think anyone went, oh my goodness, really? No, it's Rendog. We we all know this. We all know this. Anyway, we're back down here. I don't know why. Why did I come in that entrance when there's an entrance down here? Speaking of entrance down here, um, that's the third entrance we need to be a secret entrance. And I've just asked for two. Maybe I'll say that one and that one and we'll like block that one up with leaves or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll make it look natural. Also, haven't had a look at this at daytime yet. I mean... Doesn't look like a door. It looks like something's going on down there. But uh, but yeah, it looks weird. It does look it does look, does look pretty sweet though. The fact that it's not like glitching all over the place, I do prefer it. Uh, they were the only two options we had. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be actually changing this one here instead of books. We're gonna have a dentist here because that was gonna be this side until I realised that this was technically two things. And over here, we're gonna split this off into a separate place, and this is gonna be the body part shop. So we're gonna make two of these. I've got all of the stuff, both of them. Uh, I believe the dentist, which is here, will be this stuff. Yep, yep, we've got that kind of color scheme going on. And in the body part shop thing over here, we're gonna have, it's gonna be sort of a, like a hospital-y hospital thing. So we've got like a dentist and a hospital sort of vibe going on. It's gonna be all very, very medical and, and sort of white in this one, and sort of like this. Yeah, it's gonna look really, really cool. So uh, I think I need to prepare the walls and make everything in here just nice and clean. And then we'll get on with the, uh, the main attraction, which is gonna be the back wall, which hopefully will look okay. In my head it looks okay, but this wall is looking pretty small to work on, so I don't think we'll quite get the it, gist of what we want there, but I don't know, it'll be enough, and uh, we just need to finish up these uh, these shops, that's all we need to do. I'm not too worried if some of them are a bit naff, as long as they're there, they're good, right? So I'm thinking this will just about work, although we're going to have to do a bit of a train change over here, because we can 
get out. We're gonna have to build the mountain a little bit further out, but that's fine. We'll we'll do that later on. That's nothing. Nothing that's a matter. I mean, there's nothing here that's gonna you know it's gonna affect. So it doesn't matter. We can we can chop and change. But yes, uh, can we guess what I'm building right now? I don't actually know what the thumbnail will be. So I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this was a, th a thumbnail. I mean, depends how good it turns out, I guess. But um, yes, can anyone guess what this is meant to be? Probably not, right? Probably not. It looks sort of weird, in fact. Um, but, you know, it's hopefully gonna look like something um, not so weird. Although, I don't know how well this is gonna work. So I've picked up a couple of different blocks. That block, that block, that block. Uh, have I got a little pressure plate somewhere? One of these guys too? Yeah, I mean, you should be able to guess what it is now by the colours of the blocks I've just picked up. But yes, it is meant to be a sort of tooth, and I want it to be a sort of, you know, like a dodgy tooth, right? I want it to look a little bit sort of gross, a little bit sort of, I don't know, just not great, I guess. And um, yeah, we're going to also add like a little gap in it as well. So we're going to add this gap here of red, and then of course we're going to have a gap there too, where there's like a gap in the tooth. Might as well continue that back, although maybe I'll we'll change that to powder, so it's the back of the mouth rather than the lip. But uh, but yeah, so we're building a giant mouth right now, which, I mean, honestly, I don't think this looks great, but I mean, we haven't got a lot to work with, if I'm honest. Uh, and then I think maybe we'll go with a gold tooth. I only had, this is literally my last block of gold and I'm using it on this. Like, come on now, dudes. What am I doing with my, myself? What am I doing with my life? I don't know, I don't know, but um, apparently this. Um, so we want to add a light in here somewhere. I guess in a stone slab ceiling like the other places. I never obviously installed one in here, but that's pretty much the vibe I want. I want just like a big, originally the whole thing was going to be a mouth. I, I, I had a chat with the, everyone on stream and I was like the whole, imagine the whole shot being a mouth like of a giant monster and you would walk in and then like fall down a hole or something. That was the original idea. I was going to put a little cap on that tooth there because it's a bit not white, but yeah. It does look, you know what, it does look like a mouth. But that, that is the first thing you think of when you see it. Not a book. It's not It's not a book, it's a It's a dentist. Let's write dentist on here again. Um, like I have done the other ones. That sort of looks creepy like that, doesn't it? I don't know, I think it does. Uh, let's put books on here then, why not? Uh, I don't know what books we were going to do. I think we were going to do spell books and stuff like that in there. But anyway, I'm going to finish this up. We're going to add sort of a, a front door to it, if you will. And probably make it look a little bit nicer. I might actually in these as well, depending on if it works or not, add like uh, zombies in them or something. Some sort of something going on, because we've got witches down there. It might be nice to have sort of these stalls in this sort of marketplace, in the shops. Most of them, except for the witches in those ones, we could have zombies. So I wonder if that would work. That'd be kind of cool, right? Although, don't they spawn fr zombie friends? Oh, maybe not. And I was hoping we could have a zombie dentist with the white white shirt on. Uh, what's another mob that I can get in there and do that with that's going to be safe? A pigman? Maybe pigman. I don't know. I'll, le I'll let you guys decide what goes on with mobs. But anyway, I'm going to add sort of a, a bench here and a table and a chair there. And uh, I'll come back when this is done. Right, I've got what I think is a pretty incredible idea for this one. That's going to be very, very similar. I'm going to have sort of a similar doorway sort of vibe going on. Uh, with glass. We are also going to separate this into two rooms. This is already, this was all one room. All we've done is block off that room there. So this room now is separate. We can do something different in it. I do need to replace some of the, <laughs> some of the grass slopes up, uh, up top of this one as well. Uh, we've basically ruined everything pretty much, which is fine. It's fine. All the grass above is just freaking out. Just there are gaps in hills and I don't even know what. But yeah, we're sort of going with a similar pattern on the floor because I think that they both sort of work. It's quite, quite a kitcheny sort of tile-ish sort of medical clean, clean, clean sort of floor. I don't know what words I'm using to describe it, but but it's it's definitely something. It's definitely something, and I quite like it. In here I might break it up with a, carp, a white carpet as well. In fact, I did bring some wool with me, so I might as well actually make some more carpet, unless I Actually, you know what? I've actually might have actually bought some carpet as well. I've planned all these out previously, uh, so I've, I've I've got a gist of what I want in them. Uh, and basically, the reason there's a separate room is because you see these two white beds right here. This is going to be the uh, the sort of experiment room, <laughs> or like the 
the recovery room, I think is a good name for it. And that's going to be in there. And that will do the back wall because that's currently dirt. But that's another room that I, I, I was thinking we could have zombies in. We could have two zombies in there. Maybe, you know, it's quarantined off because they've gone crazy. The body part sort of transplant didn't work very well. And uh, they're very angry, let's just say. So that that's, that's sort of what we're getting at. This is very sort of... This almost reminds me of this project, and maybe it's why I like it so much. Uh, it probably reminds it reminds me um, a lot of uh, my airport in season. What season was it? Season three. Wait, not season three. Yeah, season three. Yeah, amplified season three. Uh, yeah, so um, I think that's why I like it quite a lot because it it gives me those kind of vibes. Have I got some pressure plates as well? Because I'm gonna definitely need them to get back in and out of these rooms. Will that open both? No. So we're going to have one there. This one's going to be open outside only. You can't get out otherwise. And then this one will definitely make this so you can get back out. So this room here, <laughs> which I've locked myself in somehow. Uh, there we go. Uh, that'll work for temporary measures. Uh, that one's going to be the office, I think. I might even have a little window here, in fact, instead. Yeah, let's, let's make another window. So that room there, very, very small. Just a little baby... Uh, sort of office where you know you'd go in and have a little chat to them about don't know making the uh make you know changing your body parts around or whatever it's very sort of frankenstein's monster sort of vibe that's that's another sort of vibe i'm going for who knows man i want this to feel like a waiting room as well that's what we're going for there so uh, we're gonna keep we're keeping things super simple in here don't want to go too crazy just want the rooms to have sort of a theme i, I am quite liking this one every time i walk past i'm like you know what it's a funny idea, even though it isn't the best, sort of, like, it, I didn't have a lot of room to work with, or, or a lot of blocks, or a lot of time. But, I've sort of got the vibe there, everybody knows what's going on, everybody knows it's a big mouth. Anyway, uh, we've got to dig out a uh, office space, and um, hopefully that'll be us done, and we'll get on with some of the other rooms off camera. If you guys have any ideas for the other rooms, let me know, and we'll... Uh, We'll come up with something. Uh, I've got an invisible block somewhere. I'm not sure how and where it is. It's there, apparently. Weird. Right, it's office time, and we're going to be doing something super simple in here again. Just, just giving the vibes of sort of maybe a not very nice, very clinical. That's the word I was trying to find earlier. Clinical sort of doctor, but maybe maybe a zombie too. Who knows? <laughs> I don't think zombies are going to work. I, 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 it's sad. I think they're just going to, you know, cause me more more issues. I also want a sort of a display wall like the other one has. I don't know if I showed you guys the actual display wall and what's on it, but, uh, and I think we're gonna need paintings on these walls. Oh wait, why is this still... Oh yeah, because I did... <laughs> Oopsie. Totally didn't forget about this, guys. Totally didn't forget about this room. It's fine. It's completely fine. Nothing, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Yeah, so we want to have, like, a painting on the wall. I think... I don't I'm even trying to put them on top. Yeah. So I want to have a painting. Now, obviously, I'm going to go for specific paintings here. Although, whether Minecraft's going to give them to me or not is a different matter. It's given me one. Nice. So, let's try and get the other one over here. I was going to go with the wither, but I think I'm going to sort of keep it very grim. <laughs> very grim, indeed. Uh, we do need some sort of, like, chair at the back. So, let's quickly grab ourselves oh i do want to grab a little plant in here too saying that grab one of them um grab a couple of signs put those away and we want a oak i think thing uh chair so um <clears throat> let's chuck that behind we need to put some signs on the end of them i like it so we'll have like a little plant on the on the top because i mean what doctor's office doesn't have that right um, and then outside, that's what that is for. I think I'm going to plop this mm, here. Yeah, just adds a bit of colour, makes it feel like more like a waiting room. And then on these, like uh, I did on the other one that I haven't showed you yet, yeah, uh, I'll show you in just a second, we're going to add these things. So I've got six random items, and then we're going to go in here. So let's maybe just add you there, you there, you there. We'll go with you, you, and you. So we've got an eyeball, gut sample, uh, brain, rotten flesh, blood sample, rotten kidney, just name the random stuff. It, uh, it doesn't even matter. It, the, the fact that it's just, it's just meant to be sort of odd and weird and stuff. Yeah, this was like a baby tooth, a rotten tooth, and a werewolf tooth. Just, it's what came up to my head like in two seconds, guys, honestly. Um, and yeah, I really, really like this. It's cool. So again, I think we're gonna 
make uh, the sign here. Let's maybe call it body. Uh, maybe, oh, you know what? Let's maybe go with um, spare body parts. Because then it, then it feels like an actual, like, where you'd go to get spare body parts. And maybe have them sewn on. Um, and, and, and whatever else. I don't know. It's very, it's very Frankenstein's monster. We need something up here, maybe. But uh, other than that, I think we're done, guys. It might be a short episode. I I can't tell how long I've recorded for yet. Maybe something in there as well, I don't know. But uh, but yeah, I definitely want something for the bookshop ideas, beauty shop, can't remember. I think this was going to be similar to this, but like in a, in a beauty salon sort of vibe. So maybe I can get a little, little like, I don't know, maybe, maybe a head shop. Maybe that's what it was going to be. You could swap your head and obviously we've got heads. It's very sort of Frankenstein too. And the spy for hire, I don't remember what it was. Maybe the spy chicken... I don't know what that was related to. I actually don't know. Uh, in fact, wait a second. You know what? I did actually write myself some notes in here. So, fake diamond shop. Okay. Oh, these are things for in here. Beauty shop, curse of binding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, yeah. Okay. Shh. Guys, don't say anything. We were going to try and do that at some point. Don't know if we will, but... um. But yeah, anyway, that is it, guys, for the black market today. I was going to build some more shops, but I ran out of time. But guys, leave a like if you did enjoy suggestions down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next episode see ya when stanley approached the end of the video he clicked the subscribe button